if you are wondering how I build or should I say rebuild this enclosure, keep watching the video. <laughs> At this moment I'm in a big hurry but I need to start this build so I'm now just going to add one part of it and then after a time jump I'm going to explain everything so just sit down uh, relax and watch me work what I want to do what I need to do you know there is a waterfall in this section and I want to put this piece of rock like this and that way the water from this side will also flow into this section. There is a reason, but I will explain everything after I, I fix this. So I will just use a lot of expanding foam, oops, wrong side. A lot of expanding foam in order to secure that piece of rock. I need it to go like... Okay, now this foam needs to settle. So we can do a quick time jump and a quick one because I'm still in a hurry. I need to shape this area and then connect this piece. And that is going to be a quick, quick, quick operation. And then another time jump. And then I'm going to explain everything in regards to what we are doing here and why this is happening. Why it is happening, what is currently happening. Yeah, that will fit. All right, it's done, time jump, and now I finally have time to explain you what exactly is happening right there. While Felix is slowly approaching and also watching because he's also curious what is happening here. Now, let me explain. You know, this was original enclosure for Hysterocrates Gigas. We had a divider here, this was a water section, and this was a land section. And also here we had a waterfall that was dripping down here in this water section and you know that it failed because the water was constantly traveling from the water section through the background on the background to the land section and land section the substrate here was getting soggy and bad and yeah it just didn't work so i scrapped it and said that i'll put a vampire crabs inside and that is exactly the plan but currently i still don't have uh, vampire crabs because first I want to set up the enclosure I want to make sure that everything is all right and then I will get them I actually almost got them before I started working on this when I actually said that I will get a vampire crabs but then I was like no first make the enclosure uh, make sure that it works, that everything is set up accordingly and then get the animals. And that is, that is what all of us should be doing. First prepare the enclosure, then get the animal. Don't get the animal thinking that uh, I will get the, the everything that I need. This will just be a temporary because the things get delayed and yeah, it is better to do it this way. So now you must be wondering what am I doing here? What is this? Why am I doing it? Uh, there is actually a good reason, you know? Since the waterfall was in this side part of the enclosure that was actually water section, water was just going across this into this uh, small water section and back there we had the pump. I mean, we still have pump. It was pumping that water back up and everything was circulating. But now, uh, since I will have crabs inside and I, I won't be having a, a real land section in terms of water will be everywhere, but we will have a land section above that water because uh, vampire crabs, they need land section and water section they go into water but they also need to go outside so if i kept the waterfall as it is the water would be just dripping here and going back into pump and this area would circulate well but this section it wouldn't circle felix what are you doing he is really in his exploration mood for some reason making a lot of noise with that but i guess that's a good thing okay back to this so in that scenario i got worried that the water here will get stagnated because there wouldn't be enough circulation to circulate the whole water. That is the reason why I made this. This way, water from here will go onto this slope and fall around here in this area. So then all of the water will get circulated because the water will travel here, 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 mixed with this water, and then everything will travel back here into the pump, go back up, and we will have a proper circulation of the water inside of this polydarium. So that is the actual reason why I'm doing this. Now I need to cut and shape this expanding foam, cover it with silicone, and then cover it with substrate to make it as the background around here. And then we can proceed with 
rest of the work inside of the enclosure. So now I will stop talking and start cutting. A big time lapse going. Um, slight change of plan. I want to add more rocks to make it a bit better. So yeah, still a time lapse, but yeah, there will be a change just so you know. Change of plans. Instead of covering the foam with the silicone and then substrate just like I did for the background, I decided to actually cover it with the, um, the mix of cement and water. Actually it is just cement but you use water to spread it around then. Yeah. So this is just cement and I use the brush to apply the cement on the actual uh, foam you see. Just like that and actually something dropped. But you see I already tested it out and it looks legit, yeah. So I'm going to do that. And I think that I covered every exposed part of the foam. You see from all the angles everything is covered. Now of course we let it dry out with one time jump and cement is now dry. So check out how it looks now you see. It is now starting to take its shape and it is now looking like something that I envisioned. You see now in theory water will come from here and go all the way here into this area and then it will circulate back here. But ever since I shut down this enclosure it's, it didn't work of course so uh, everything is super dried up and I'm really hoping that the pump and all the, the areas and where water was flowing it still works and that water will still flow but we need to test that out now and this is exactly what we are going to do. I will pour some water inside and we are going to see if pump even works and if the water will flow through this actual hose onto this new platform. Yeah, let's let's test it out. I have a bucket of water right here. I'm gonna turn on this camera and I will also use this camera here to record something. And by the way, oh, I didn't even show you. I'm not sure if you spotted, but I cleaned the actual enclosure, cleaned the glass here, this part and this part. It was, everything was super, super dirty and now it actually looks uh, somewhat decent. And I also removed all the unnecessary stuff from here, so yeah. I didn't even realize that I didn't show that in the camera. I mean in the video, yeah. Uh, water. Also, I'm still hoping that the enclosure will still hold the water and it will not leak. It shouldn't, but you never know. Okay, this should be enough water. Let me just remove this floating stuff. All of this floating garbage, I don't want to risk it to uh, block the pump. So I'm gonna try to remove most of it at least. You see, I removed most, but there is still some. Hopefully it won't clog the pump. <laughs> Let's turn it on and fingers crossed. Okay, okay. Will we get the water here? Oh, yes. Kinda. The water is flowing everywhere, but we have a steady stream right here where we want it, but it is really loud at the moment. Mm, let me see if I can reduce that. This part is making a lot of noise. Also, there is water flowing everywhere, so hmm, how to deal with this? I think that it will need to run for a while and then maybe the, the area will settle. So we are going to do just that. I'm going to move it over there and let it run for a couple of hours. So now time jump and another change of plans. Everything here works all right, but I removed all the water and dry everything out because I want to close off this area with some styrofoam and expanding foam because I noticed that the enclosure is getting increasingly heavy when everything is filled with water, so I want to remove that. In order to do that, we have this piece of styro styrofoam that we are going to put down there and also we will secure it with some expanding foam once again and then we will cover it up also with the cement. The same thing that we did with the waterfall section.
and now you have seen all the additional stuff that I did in the meantime and that makes the basic scape of the enclosure basically finished now once again I need to add water inside test out a waterfall to see if now with all the stuff all together if everything flows if the water flows correctly and of course if the enclosure is still holding water because this section behind was filled with expanding foam and if you remember correctly if you are old school old school dark den viewer you might remember when i was making a dart frog paludarium i actually added expanding foam in the corner of the enclosure and the expansion from the expanding foam was so hard that it actually uh, removed a big piece of glass from the rest of the enclosure and actually broke the back panel but somehow I managed to silicone everything up and make it usable and salvage the situation so hopefully uh, as I can see nothing broke but I want to make sure that all seals are still tight and the only way to try that out is to pour water inside so we are going to do just that we are going to test the waterfall let it run for a few hours and then if everything is in order we can basically start finishing this enclosure so let the water flow oh this is so nice because i closed off the back part of the enclosure i need far less water to fill it up yeah that's really good but once again let's start the waterfall hold your breath okay 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 it's flowing all right everything seems good i'm satisfied and from what i can see no leakage so that is also a good sign that is actually the best thing now one i think maybe less time jump and actually figure out that there will be a few more time jumps so now let me show you the progress everything is working flawlessly and i'm really satisfied with how the things turned out the only thing that i kind of don't like is you see on the wood there is some mold development and also here but that is a normal thing and with time it should be much better but what i want to do now i want to fill this back part with clay balls this area behind i will fill this with clay balls put a mesh on top of it and then throw a bunch of substrate over there and inside i will add the isopods to help out with all the situation i already added a bunch of springtails but i don't see why i shouldn't add also the isopods so i'm going to move this piece of wood out of my way to make things a bit easier and now as i said i will fill this up the reason why i'm adding clay balls is because i want to add more water inside and therefore i don't want any substrate going in the crevice because then the substrate would touch the water and it would start pulling up all the moisture inside and then you know what would happen a giant mess and we want to avoid that now a small piece of mesh like that and the substrate i'm gonna try to be really precise with this i can actually remove this piece of wood i don't know why i didn't do that at start moisture to the substrate leaf litter and i actually want to put a plant over there just a second i almost forgot about that this path of plant i'll just squeeze it over there and let it do its thing now to add the isopods you know there are these cute little buggers you see and they are reproducing i have seen some babies oh look there is one right there so that is a good sign and that means that i can freely use them because i will have more in the future i hope that six of them will do the trick just guys please don't drown okay just eat the bad stuff and enjoy this spacious enclosure just for you at this very moment <laughs> now to put back the the three pieces i don't really remember how i had it <laughs> but it doesn't really matter as long as it's inside all right now with this first stage complete i will drain the water take the enclosure and put it on its place and then fill it back up but i will do that actually off camera so in the next time jump you will see it already over there running in its full capacity so time jump and this will be the final one as you can see i have the enclosure at its place and it really fits nicely in this corner and also i added more stuff in the meantime mostly plants now first plant that i added is this one i took that actually from the poison dart frog enclosure you see inside of it it is growing really really nicely and there is actually one dart frog 
Yeah, so I have plenty of those plants. Then I added two of these. You see, that is the same species. And that one I actually took from chips enclosure right here. You see, this plant is growing really, really nice in chips enclosure. You see, really, really good. And last plant that I added are these guys. This is the same species, of course. And that one I took from Pezzalteria Metallica's enclosure, or should I say, cat's enclosure. And you see also inside of her enclosure this plant is growing extremely, extremely good. So I can basically take as much as I want. And let's check cat. <laughs> hi, hi. You see how it became more uh, black than blue. That is what happens with Pezzoterias metallicas as they grow older. Okay, <laughs> enough of disturbance, uh, back to the enclosure. So I added those plants, I also added some sphagnum moss on some spots and also because I need moist sphagnum moss in order to regrow those plants. The water cleared up nicely, although you see that there is some sort of tint to it. Uh, I don't really know what is releasing that tint. I'm assuming that either leaf litter or maybe the, the branches, but I don't really mind because I really, really like that tint. It looks more natural if you ask me. Other than that, I also added some leaf litter and also some leaf litter in the water. Also a cork bark piece down there to provide more hiding places for the crabs. And yeah, the enclosure is, if you ask me, ready for the crabs. Although now I will let the enclosure to sit for a few weeks before I get the actual crabs because I want all the plants to start growing and maybe in the meantime I will add more plants. I definitely want some aquatic plants, but I don't have those. I need to go out and pick them up from some store or maybe, maybe even from the nature. I need to do a bit of research, but I will let you know what I added. And once we get the crabs, that will be one sweet, sweet unboxing video and I just can't wait to introduce them in the actual enclosure. And that finally, I finally set this up. It was waiting for far too long. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you are hyped for crabs. If you do, if you are, uh, make sure to thumbs up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, I'm hot. Uh, <laughs> uh, make sure to subscribe, upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon, bye. -bye.